Tip number 225 from the book 501 Contractor Tips. This is actually the opposite of the previous tip on leaving money on the table. This is overbidding construction projects. Now, me, as I, as I suggested in the previous video, I rarely overestimated a job. I was always under. I always underestimated the work. I, I gave a lot of money away as a contractor. And of course, I could use that money right now. Let's face it, you get to a certain age and you're going to have to wish that you didn't uh, give the money away because you're going to get to where you're going to have a difficult time working and you're going to need it. You might need it for some medical expenses too. Now, this one right here isn't that difficult. If you're overestimating construction projects, then what? You will not be getting any work. It's not that it's, it's or you're, you're going to be, uh, it's going to be difficult to get the work. Now, don't get me wrong. You can overestimate construction projects. Eventually, you're going to get jobs. Uh, you know, if you just keep at it, you're just going to, you know, the laws of averages are with you. I mean, I, I've met contractors who bid about 10 jobs to every one job they get. And they make money. They just have to do a lot of bidding, you know. So this 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 might be something you want to do. It's not something I wanted to do. I had a pretty good, almost every job I went to bid, I got. And a lot of it was because of the knowledge I had, the questions I was asking the people and my competition, you know. I was the contractor. And it was a contractor who did the work most of the time. So that was a big selling point to a lot of people. It wasn't just a salesperson coming in there, selling the job and then sending a crew in there. They dealt with me from the very beginning to the end, made a big difference. Now, overestimating construction projects. Um, if you find out that everyone in the area is charging $75 an hour and you're charging $75 an hour, but you're not getting the jobs, you're gonna to have to lower your prices, obviously. You're gonna to have to figure out a different way. Um, if they're charging $75 an hour and you can only get jobs for $50 an hour, you're gonna to have to figure out what, what they're doing differently. And that is the key to this. Uh, figure out what the successful people are doing and then do what they are doing. It's, that, it's, not, it's not that difficult. It's not, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Find out what they're doing and, and do, do what they're doing. And, and again, it could just be one thing. That's why I got these tips in here. If you find one, one tip in this book, and I've said this plenty of times, there's 501 tips in there. I got a lot of tips in here that people are just like, come on, what a waste of my time. I got that. I understand that, especially when it comes to taxes, where you're wrong there. You should be paying attention to your taxes. Um, I'm not trying to get off topic here. Uh, I just want to make, make a point about um, successful people. If you do what successful people do, there's a good chance that you will be successful. I'll leave, I'll leave it at that. So overestimating construction projects. First sign, like I said, you're not going to be getting any work. That's obvious. You're going to have to do something differently. And if you are at a point where you cannot afford to bid jobs any lower, maybe you're in a tough time, you're in a recession, there isn't a lot of uh, building or a lot of work going on in your field, then um, you might need to shut your business down. There is no need to go out there and work um, for in, in where you're not earning any money. You're not making any money. And, of course, you, you might consider moving. I, I say that a lot, and a lot of people are like, no way. I got you. You know, just stay where you're at then, you know. Um, so that's about it for overestimating. If you're not getting any jobs, there's a good chance you're, uh, you're doing something wrong. And one of those things might be that you are overestimating the jobs or uh, missing something vital in your community. You know, don't be surprised, and I see this a lot. I know people who, hey, I used to make uh, $25 an hour. I will not work for anything less than that. And you'll get to a certain point during some tough times where you're not working because you're not willing to work for anything less than that. So keep that in mind also.